mailman. Get off my video mailman. Okay. <laughs> Better stop saying that. I'm going to make bow ties. Okay. Three different kinds of bow ties. Nice. Are you going to be using different colors to make bow ties? I am going to be using different colors to make different bow ties. Husband. Are you going to be using needle and thread or no. are you going to get them to stay? I do not use needle and thread. I'm going to measure the square up first. I'm going to measure it about 8 inches by 6 inches with my crazy cut out fabric here. Dang it. About, because nothing I measure is ever perfect. That's for sure. It doesn't have to be perfect though, that's the cool thing. I couldn't follow a pattern to save my life. So, this is perfect. Ah, pay attention. I'm paying attention to you. So, pretty side down. glue gun right to the middle. And don't get all crazy with the glue gun either. Or you got a big lump in your bow tie, you understand? I'm talking to you. Don't have a big lump in your bow tie. Put it side up and the seam side down. Put a line up here to glue. Hold it like this. Space to empty. <coughs> and off to the side. I always forget to cut out my middle piece. The middle piece just has to be about yay big. So that's about two inches wide and about four inches long. So two by four. Glue the edges over. Don't make it too wide though. If you do, it'll look all clunky in the middle. Yeah, you don't want to make it too wide. You should drive our fast. Uh, you would know. Interactive robot husband in the world. And then you take this piece and just hold it like this in thirds. Hold on to these edges. Put a little bit of glue in the middle to hold that together. And as you can see, it's starting to make a bow tie shape. And take this strip here, put a dot right in the middle there, and lay this on top, like so. Oops. And put it all together. Now, the first one, I'm going to show you how to make, will go right onto a dog's collar which would be awesome and a perfect world where everybody actually puts a collar on their dog. So I cut a piece about, I don't know, if it's going to be on a big dog, I want to stretch around a big collar, but not too much stretch, or too much slack, because otherwise it doesn't actually do what elastic should do and stretch, and slide all over the place. Put the dog over there. Hold it around. Like that. Simple. Cut. Left with this one piece. Okay, I'm going to take 
this. Scrunch the bow back up. Both sides even. Flip it over. And I'm going to cut off some excess here. This over like that. And then make sure you're still straight in front. There's a lot of bows floating around that I did in the beginning that will never see the light of day because I didn't bother to check and make sure both sides are straight. Okay. Want to make it look nice. Fold this piece over like this so it's like a seamed edge if you were sewn, which we don't do here. Don't blame yourself either. I've got like industrial hands by now from hot glue, third degree hot glue burns. <laughs> okay. Make sure it's together. Give that a minute to cool. And you start pulling out of already, the whole thing just goes psh, kind of this, and then you're real mad. Set the side for a minute. And the second way I'll show you how to make a bow tie is the same exact way we just did there, except for I saw this little loop in the back, you cut a longer piece of elastic. And stick the elastic right underneath the middle fold, and then this whole piece can go around the dog's neck. Or, last way, which is the complicated way, yet looks kind of cool though, and that is to do the whole collar and bow tie together. So, fabric, and you want about the same piece. Wait. The rectangle that you originally cut out really only has to be as big or small as you want it to be, depending on how big or small you want your bow tie, obviously. <laughs> and because I don't sew or do anything by the book, I just eyeball it and cut these up. Now you're going to want to strip for the middle piece, just like the other one. And the last piece you're going to want. This part you might want to measure, or you might get mad if you've done it 500 times, is how big around your dog's neck is. Because I've done this quite a few times, I know that if I cut out a piece that's about a foot long, it's going to be big enough for a small sized dog once I put over all the edges. And i got to keep in mind you're going to the edges so you want a little bit of room. Like a teeny skinny little cat collar. I'm not doing cat collars here. You can do cat collars if you want, but I'm not really a cat person. So we're not doing cat collars. Right? Right. Okay. So same thing. We sit down. And piece all the way across. Go to the halfway point. Halfway point. And top. Right. 
pieces. And in fact, just doing the same thing over and over. So make sure you get the neck piece kind of straight. Otherwise, it looks pretty dopey if you have it all crooked on your dog. Even though we use a glue gun, we try to be somewhat proud of what we've done afterwards. So, okay, same thing with us. Okay, put the in the middle there, and four different thirds. This, this one in the middle. And another spot on top. So it better not be. I'm going to take the collar piece and flip it over so the seams in the back. Okay, no, that's wrong. Sorry. This side. So this bow part's down. And lay this in the back. And then. Stretch one piece this way, and I'm going to with this little tab piece that's hanging out, fold it over so it's got a nice finished edge. And you don't want to glue this one down, only this one on top of the already center piece because that way it slides back and forth. And you can adjust it once it's on your dog. And if you have excess glue, you need these little back pieces for that. Well, it's like getting third degree burns. Okay. Now, little edges, fold these over with a little bit of glue so they look nice. Like I said, just because it's glue down doesn't mean it can't be pretty. So. Now, I use these little Velcro round pieces because they're already in rounds, which is convenient. And they're supposed to be like industrial soap adhesive, blah blah blah, but they kind of are not, so I glue gun them on. Because otherwise, your dog will have this off in about 2.2 seconds. Wait for the glue to dry if there's any hanging out before you go snapping it together or you can stick the whole thing together and that'll make a knob, trust me. And it sticks together like that. So once it's together, you can stick your fingers in here and fluff it out like this. And you can get really creative with the bow ties. You can do them for girls. I've done like double layered fabric so there's kind of a ruffle hanging out of the bow and it's more girly. You can put stuff in the middle too. Um, but okay, so this was our first one we made. Fluff it out now that it's definitely dry. And let's pretend this was a collar. Just take it and slide it right on like that. And there you have it. Pretty cool. And this one is off and on. Get really creative like dogs and in the corner. Also, Okay, so those bow ties, babe. What do you think of that? That's awesome, babe. Why don't you show me another one? <laughs> <laughs>